All right, NFT shorts, we're back at it again. Is the home of NFTs and cryptos, guys. Again, today we're gonna get into some Ask GPT just to see exactly what's going on with in the AI world and you know from their perspective or from its perspective, from our perspective, you know, all of it, I guess, if we put it all together like that. So first of all, guys, if you like this series, if you like this channel, if you like what you're hearing, definitely hit the like button on this video, give a thumbs up, share it with a friend, spread it to Twitter if you want. Uh, reddit and such join the discord and of course guys subscribe to the channel and turn notification bells uh no notifications on by hitting the notification bell tapping it plucking it clicking it whatever <laughs> smashing it as people love to say this is hilarious okay all right guys so we're back at it again so today what we're going to do is ask gpt how do you buy and sell bitcoins okay okay so for us for those of us who want to know, let's dive in. So there are many ways to do it. And let's start with the main method that is given to us by this uh, GPT. Here we go. So number one, choose a cryptocurrency exchange. Start by selecting a reputable cryptocurrency exchange where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Some popular exchanges include such and such. Now I'm going to go to a different website just to show you quickly a list of exchanges where you can go right here you'll find crypto exchanges decentralized exchanges derivatives we'll dive into this page in a minute but let's continue on number two create an account sign up for an account on the chosen exchange this usually involves providing your email address of course creating a password and completing any necessary verification steps such as know your customer requirements number three deposit funds once your account is set up, you'll need to deposit funds into your exchange account. This can typically be done using a bank transfer, perhaps a credit card or debit card, or other supported payment methods, depending on the exchange. Let's continue. Now, I have to be very clear so far, what we're discussing is these are centralized exchanges. So you may see that under this lap tab as uh, crypto exchanges, but there are also decentralized exchanges okay let's continue on number four place an order after your funds are deposited you can place an order to buy or sell bitcoin on most exchanges you can choose between market orders that is buy and sell at the current market price or limit orders meaning you set your own price and when that target or if that target is reached the buy or the sell will trigger and that action will take place. Number five, secure your Bitcoins. Now this is after you've already purchased on an exchange. If you're buying Bitcoin, it's important to transfer it to a secure wallet that you control. This can be a hardware wallet, software wallet, or even a paper wallet. Keeping your Bitcoin in a secure wallet helps protect it from potential hacks or theft. So with most of these exchanges, centralized exchange exchanges to be specific, you don't control the private keys for that particular or for those wallets. So therefore, it's essentially like a bank in the sense that they're giving you access to the funds in there, but they're not necessarily yours to control once they're in this account. Yes, again, you can gain access to it, but you yourself cannot control every aspect of where the money goes or where these funds go, where these assets go if they're locked or frozen, you don't have access to that. You don't get to control that. So it's important to have some other wallet, whether it be a software wallet, whether it be a, a browser wallet, an app that you have on your phone, perhaps uh, a hardware wallet, a paper wallet, as long as you can control the private keys, not just the public keys and the password with an email address, private keys, maybe 12 words, 24 words, sometimes 25 words, it depends on the wallet and, and so forth, 18 words. This is how you keep control of your assets, okay? Your digital assets. Let's go on to number six, monitor the market. If you're actively trading Bitcoin, it's important to stay informed about market trends and price movements. Okay, of course you can use various tools to do that. Number seven, looking at selling, sell or trade your Bitcoin. When you're ready to sell or trade your Bitcoin, you can follow a similar process as buying. Place a sell order, on the exchange and choose the desired price or 
opt for a market order to sell at the current price. Now, as I said, these examples are mostly based, are pretty much based on selling and buying on centralized exchanges. So let's just quickly take a quick look at some of the top centralized exchanges. Right, so there are many you could choose from depending on your jurisdiction. You may want to choose one or the other that is completely up to you. Okay, now we can also look at decentralized exchanges. Okay, these are exchanges that do not require you to sign in with any type of address, uh, email address or personal information or any type of know your customer KYC process. This is when you connect a wallet, hardware wallet, um, so, uh, software wallet, browser wallet, and you personally, personally make the decisions. Essentially, it's up to you as to what you buy or sell at what price and, and, and so forth. So perhaps a little more challenging, perhaps, and also perhaps, and maybe not, I'm just saying perhaps, right? But also one reason why I say perhaps maybe a, a little more challenging is because decentralized exchanges typically require well, will require you to have cryptos already and in a lot of cases people will have to purchase their cryptos or you know bitcoins whatever have you through a centralized exchange before they can actually get to a decentralized exchange all right and uh, so there are many other markets that you guys can use again for futures derivatives there are many different places that you can trade as well if you want to use leverage and other types of uh, trading uh, techniques and trading tools. All right, guys, thanks for checking this one. Of course, this is about how to buy and sell Bitcoins and of course, other cryptos, right? Guys, follow me over here on X right there. Of course, you can jump in and leave comments, be active, especially during live streams. And I definitely hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, all the best until next time. Take it easy.